E allora buongiorno. Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome to the Caesar Augustus. Many of you have never been here. Some of you have come here already. Uh, I'm here. Uh, I live here. Uh, I've been living here all my life. A few years ago, I had the pleasure to meet uh, Mrs. Mavelia and she immediately involved me into this discourse about ethics and aesthetics. I didn't understand a thing, but I tried to be kind to her. But uh, I became passionate about the subject gradually, and I understood that actually all of us, well, I mean, whatever we do, we uh, sort of oscillate between these two ends of the spectrum. That is to say, ethics and aesthetics. The one without the other cannot exist. Uh, so I've been also asked to, uh, to be interviewed, to give an interview. And during such an interview, I tried to express my opinion on this subject. And uh, little by little, we started to talk about what we've done here uh, at the Cesar Augustus Hotel. Because this was very simple, very straightforward forward way to talk about ethics and aesthetics. This is really a wonderful place, a gift uh, from God. And it's a gift given uh, to us by God. You have no right to mar it, to ruin it. And so uh, within this uh, logic, in this perspective, we've always tried to protect the place and the place, in its turn, has protected us. It was not only a problem of generosity. We've been also selfish, because this place gave us a lot. And I think that this is the way it is in life. Uh, whoever takes without giving, in the end, will not go far, will certainly stop very soon in his, in his path. I'd like to remind to Mrs. Mar Mavelia, uh, I gave a very simple example. I was talking about luxury. Luxury sounds a bit negative as a word these days. Nevertheless, we do live in a niche of luxury, but luxury, as all other things, has changed. Uh, once upon a time, luxury was resplendent, was shining, blazing. It had to astonish. Uh, it was not available to everybody, but only to the happy few. So if I was able to get access to luxury, I was able to enjoy it. But nowadays, luxury has a much more human dimension, at least for those who understand that. And it is a dimension in which you are and do you enjoy luxury whenever you are doing something special for you. Now, it can be special for you eating some things, uh, food uh, which is fresh, and uh, uh, just uh, uh, picked up from the uh, garden. Or you may eat something which uh, has been in the fridge for a, a long time. So the, the, the taste will be very different. But not only this. Uh, for example, uh, uh, food comes here from the other uh, side of the world, from the, from the other shore of the ocean. Uh, they were brought on the plane. It was much simpler once upon a time, but this has all changed with civilization. It is a luxury to go back in time and uh, being able to state and to declare, well, I would like to eat only what I grow uh, uh, 150 years away from this place. We won't pay for transportation. Yes, it's a, a small step. Uh, it's, uh, uh, of course, I save just a, 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 a little sum of money, but it's 
really wonderful. It makes me happy to do some, the possibility to do so, of doing something that only a few can do is something that makes me very happy. And this is very simple. Uh, this is something very straightforward. You can do very simple things that are, that do not mar, do not uh, 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 pollute, and at the same time may allow people to enjoy them. Uh, of course, I won't take more time because so many speakers are here, but I grasp this chance to welcome you all. And I want to tell you that I'm very happy to share with you this wonderful place. And so I pass the floor to uh, um, Dr. Clara Mavelli.